Hello? Oh my god, I almost forgot that I was live. <laughs> I checked my phone for like one fucking second and was like, huh? Did I hit the go live button? Am I muted? I'm not muted. Okay, we're good. Hi! Hi, friends! How's everybody doing? It has been a hot minute since I've been live. And the top that I'm wearing underneath this is so constricting. And I feel like I can't breathe. And, 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 and... <laughs> And give me one second. I need to like reconfigure myself. Hold on. This is a mistake. I'm trying to be kind to my titties. So like, I have this one top that I accidentally got in an XS and not like a, a small. And the thing is, um, <laughs> it's a uh, way smaller than I thought. Wait, is it even an XS? What is it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I um yeah I've learned my mistake. All right. <laughs> I can breathe now, kind of ish, sort of. I also haven't like eaten much today. Um, I only had breakfast. I need to have dinner, but I'll probably have dinner after this. I'm not gonna have like a super long stream. I just like wanted to hang out for a little bit, you know? I'm going to do. Um... Ooh, breathing is <laughs> not fun. Whoa, <laughs> woo, breathing. Yeah, breathing is not fun right now. Um, I'm gonna do um, a boss with my friend Pharaoh, and then I'm going to probably do some MSQ stuff, maybe some jobs, I don't know, and we will go from there. Let me grab my water. I'm so sorry. This stream is messy already. Give me one second, chat. I'm a... Hula. Okay, I'm back. Hi, chat. All right, so I um, I grabbed my water, <laughs> and I grabbed um some cereal to just snack on. <laughs> All right, how's everybody doing? Is everyone having a good day? Girl, go to your top. I did. Don't worry. Done on there for the 16 months, and I think Andy also did a re a, uh, a two month resub or was that two months? Yeah, Andy, thank you for a two month resub. Peace up, I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hold on. Alright. One second, chat. One second. Alright. Okay. Cool beans. Okay. Hi. Hello. Hello. All right. Now I can focus. How's everybody doing? Hello. Are we ready for some Final Fantasy? I am. I have been playing Final Fantasy a fucking ton lately, as we all know. And, um, you know, the beauty about playing it all the time is I have been advancing quite a bit with my characters. My Dark Knight is level 73 now. It's all I play. I'm a Dark Knight main. I meant it when I said that I would become a Dark Knight main. So, <laughs> now, um, I just have to get through fucking Stormblood so I can continue the, uh, the quest line for the Dark Knight. All right. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. Borger? Did you can help a, go a girl out? Please let my cough to go fuck itself. Elise, I hope your cough vanishes in an instant. All right. There's Arcady and there's my husband. Oh, Oh, that reminds me. Something, something very special happened. <laughs> something very, very, very special has 
happened. Um, hello, Quinn! What's up? Hi! Hobbs, thank you so much for the four-month resub. I appreciate it. So, <laughs> um, I got a gift in the mail today from my husband from Pepperfont. No, Elise, I did not have a wedding off stream, but we may have a wedding on stream. Not today. We'll figure it out. <laughs> but Pepperfont has um, shared something very special with Pepper, and we're gonna have to go through that at some point. So if you play Final Fantasy XIV, I better fucking see you in my in my realm. All right, that's all I asked for. Don't worry, Elise. I got you. I got the content that you need. Look, mom, I'm on the internet. Well, you're gone now. Where'd you fucking go? All right. Okay. So, yeah, we're gonna start things off just with with the dungeon. I swear to God, if I DC, I have a very, very bad feeling I might DC. I don't think I will. But knowing my luck, it's bound to happen, right? So, okay. Um, is my like, where's my? Am I missing something? Oh, are my banners not up? Oh, there it is. There's my banner. Cool, 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 cool. Sorry, I saw you had a fan exo, but you had a bunch of people around you in RSI, so I didn't want to add on to the crowd. Oh, no! You should have said something! No, you should have said something! That's okay, though. Next time. Next time. I'm glad you got to witness me from afar. <laughs> That's totally okay. Vlad was literally, like, my little... My little sidekick, he was getting everybody. He was like taking pictures for people. People were going up to him like, are you Vlad? Like, get, is that Syra? Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Hi, Urban, how are you? I'm good. Uh, yes, more the merrier in the cult, exactly. All right, where's table salt? There's table salt. All right. You probably saw my dumbass. yeah. Unfortunately, they had to see you. All right. Phoenix, Phoenix, Pharaoh, yeah, uh, you can cue us whenever. <gasps> Champagne Papa G, thank you for the 10 month Risa. I appreciate Lil Max for coming to bed and watching this day. Um, you're gonna be back on Goblin. You're gonna be on Goblin tomorrow, Katie. Okay? Nice. Phoenix, I'm so sorry. Phoenix, Pharaoh, what's the difference? There's a big difference. I'm so sorry. You look so pretty. Thank you, Char. Hi, Char. It's nice to see you. How are you? If anyone wants to join um Pharaoh and I in the naval feel free Pepperfont. do you want to join us i know you're right here it was an attack from all sides but you and vlad had it handled as we do as we do well i'm so sorry maybe i'll see you at another event i can only tank or dps um i'm tanking and they're dpsing so i can invite you. i mean can i even invite you because i'm not leader anymore yo sauce me uh promote me promote me pharaoh Big patch day today. Apparently, Ishgard is no longer snowy. Well, I guess it like still is for me, right? Because I mean, I guess I have to advance in the plot first for that. I think Pepperfar is AFK. You fucking rat. <laughs> you rat. Yeah, we're going right into the belly button. Oof. I just, I just touched it. No shot, you're going live when I'm going to bed. Sorry. They're nerfing my snow. They are! <laughs> they are nerfing the snow. And that makes me so sad. Because Ishgard, like, the permafrost and everything was, like, my peak vibe. I loved everything about it. I'm going to be really sad if it's no longer going to be a snowy area. Daddy, chill. What the hell even is that? The besties are in town. Mm. Sure. This week, we have to get together if you are available. Now I'm not resubbing? Okay. Rude. Fine. Someone will just gift you a sub then. Out of spite, bitch. They should double down on the snow. As in, give us more snow? That's fucking right, bitch! Thank you, Melon, for gifting Ray a sub. See, I told you! 
I fucking told you! <laughs> Chengase, hello, what's up? How are you? Welcome to the spite stream. If there is one thing, if there is one bit of wisdom that I can impart on everybody, it's that spite conquers all. Do you think I got this successful? Just organically? Nah, baby. It's because I'm a spiteful ass bitch. <laughs> anyone who has ever doubted me, anyone who has ever upset me, anyone who has ever made me feel inferior, oh, they're what fueled me. Give back lead of his three of us? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Got you. One second. I'm just like tweeting that I'm live on my alt. Don't mind me. Right. Yeah, if my husband is not gonna join us, then I Then I guess I gotta promote Pharaoh Hi Waleed, how are you? Hi <laughs> Yeah, you still bought him though? Okay, the way that you fucking called my ass out The way that you called my ass out Move aside pepper font. There's a new boyfriend in town. Oops. Yo, Pepper is going to have a fucking harem. <laughs> my homepage is pretty.com. My homepage is... Oh, my homepage is petty.com. My homepage is petty.org. Mine is petty.ca because I'm Canadian. Hi, Godforsaken Soul. How are you? Or Scout. How did I read that as Soul? I don't know. Dog, you can handle it. Can I, though? Can I, though? Wait, did Pepperfont's head move? Is he here? Is he a cunt? Did he see that I gave away leader and now was looking at me like, haha, bitch? You thought. <laughs> oh, oh my god, chat, 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 chat. Okay, so you remember how I lost my glasses? And they were basically these, but like bigger? Yeah, well, I picked up my new pair, finally. I picked up my new ones, finally. And now I can, like, game and live my life um, with the right prescription and glasses. And I feel super confident and super cute and super happy again in my glasses. Which is, like, super, 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 super exciting. Because I love wearing my glasses and I love being able to see. But my other ones, they're just, like, my, my backup ones. And didn't like them. Didn't feel good. But now we are thriving. And, oh, my God, watch me fuck this up immediately. I think he's on follow and targeting. Who, <laughs> Pepperfont? Someone's in a cutscene, so we're just chilling. How's the audio chat? Are we all good? Audio okay? Is it too loud? Is it too quiet? I don't even think I remember this fight. I don't remember any of them except for Garuda, basically. Audio's good. Perfect. Damn! Look at our Viera! Oh my god, wait. I totally match her. If only I was wearing my swimsuit, it's dyed the exact same colors, too. <laughs> uh, let me turn on my grip before I forget. Yeah, she's in a cutscene. Or they're in a cutscene. I don't know. I can't assume. Uh, da -da 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 -da. That means all three of us. We collectively have one commandment to fight over. I better fucking get it. <laughs> yeah, my breathing is like crazy. You know, you piss off on me when he clicks on you. You dunce. Oh. But like, but I was told he was AFK. Oh, we're good. Oh, I meant to unmend. That's fine though. Whatever. Alright, we're chillin'. We're chillin'. Oh my god, I'm, I'm not gonna be able to- Fuck! Okay, okay. So I only have that one unlocked. Alright, this is gonna be fun. <laughs> my rotation! Oh my god. Ah! Why am I- Why am I focusing you? There we go, okay. This is not gonna be fun. This is not gonna be fun. This is not gonna be fun. But we're chillin'. 
We're chilling. Things I do for my friends. <laughs> I guess y'all could say the same though. Oi, oi! Oh, what's this part? Okay, just going back here. Nice, good job. Great, good job. Mm. Uh, what is this part? What's coming next? I don't remember. Oh no. Oh no, we gotta like break you out, right? Yeah. And I, of course, am gonna have to do that. But I don't have to, though. That's on me. Should not have done that. I should have let the healer do that because the healer, for whatever reason, was doing that. <laughs> That's fine, though. We ball. Doesn't the rest of the platform, like, shrink or something? I don't remember this bit. Maybe not? I guess not. Wrong button. That's fine, though. I don't know why I have it as left to right when I always fuck it up, regardless. Ah! Just like that. It doesn't feel natural, but we both. Thank you for the posture, I appreciate it. He's targeting- I know! I get that! But I don't know if he was doing it the whole time, that's what I'm saying! Like the way this boss looks. Why do we have to fight them? I want to be friends? I know, right? He looks like he gives good hugs when he's not stomping on me, you know? He's almost dead. He's dead. Sick. Wow! Thank you for the for the 800 experience. That um that was great. Really appreciate that. Thanks, Boo. Thank you. Cool, cool. I didn't get a commandment, but that's fine. It's the carry? Yeah, you're fucking welcome. Um, Alright. Alright. Is my husband fucking gone? Or has he just not loaded? What a rat! What a rat! Alright, what am I doing? <laughs> Okay, I have a lot of things on my, like, to-do list that I was planning on doing, like, for stream. Um, I don't want to do Storm in the Hall. Uh, ooh! Should we do this quest? This is the, um, here, let me turn these all off first. That is the seasonal event. And you know what? I think I should do it. I think I should do it now, get it out the way. You know? Before I forget. Yeah? Hi, Jay! Hi, Kenzo! Hello! It's because the game uses the ye old English. Wait. I love it when they spell jail. Gowl? What? Gowl is ye old English for jail? So many quests. I know. Usually I don't have that many, but most of these are like job quests or they're quests for dungeons. So. I want to do a trial with Sire. Yes. Congratulations. You finished the game. You've completed it. Happy Tuesday? Yes, it's Tuesday. I didn't even realize it was Tuesday. I thought it was still Monday. Like, my weekend, just my days in general, have all blurred together. Also, how are you, Lissy? Vasilis, thank you so much for the posture check. I appreciate it. Okay. Yeah, my breathing is, like, actually not really good right now. I don't know why. I think I need to just, like, eat more and sleep better. Club going up on a Tuesday. Sorry, I'm talking. Mm. Oh my god, are you enjoying it? Wait, Kenzo, are you on um Crystal Goblin? You fucking better be. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm gonna be pretty pissed. Um, and if I already knew that, then I'm so sorry. Okay, so where am I going for this? Okay, this way. Karate too hottie. Thanks for the sub. I'm coming to your badge most in your stay. Thank you. First day of school is tomorrow. Really? The first day of school is tomorrow? Isn't the first day of school usually like in um, September? Or I guess it's different like depending on the school and the state or the country or whatever. Wow, wow, wow. 
It's so, it's, it's pretty spooky hearing this. Oh my god, it's so ominous. I love it. I'm not on Crystal Goblin yet. The audacity. Okay, so wait as Oh! Wait. Chat. Chat, chat, chat. Hold on. Let me change what I was gonna say. Let me change- let me- let me give you guys, um, an option, or two options here. Do I do the seasonal event right now? Or do it, I go and get the Orshifant emote? <laughs> Everyone told me that I need to do that quest on stream, so I'm preparing for the worst. Or should I do that another day? What are the vibes? I feel like I should do it another day, maybe like a little bit earlier. That way I'm not going to bed crying. <laughs> but, I don't know. September starts Thursday? Oh my god, it does! Okay, look, when I said I lost track of time... Go get the emote. <laughs> well, the emote will always be there, but this quest will not always be there. Do it on stream. I will do it on stream. I will. I will. Rising as always. I don't know when ends. Yeah, I don't know when the season 11 ends either. Maybe I should just do that. Maybe I should just get it out the way and then go from there, right? Hi, Ronan. How are you? All right. Let's fucking do it. Whatever. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. We're surveying. We're looking around. What's we waiting for? Oh. Species is nearly upon us. I know. Fine. I fucking leave. I am ready. Aha! Thank you for the form of Marisa! How are you, buddy? What's up? <laughs> Is this the minstrel? What's going on here? <laughs> this is like ooh, dramatic. <laughs> Is it voiced? Oh, I hope it's voiced. Oi, adventurer! <laughs> Sorry! Oi? Pepper girl. Oi, adventurer! Over here! Is it your first trip in Ulda? Welcome to Ulda. Wait, am I gonna be like, am I gonna like be like his little like helper person? What's the word I'm looking for? Like teacher? The student becomes the teacher. Is it your first trip to Ulda? Welcome to Ulda. Um. Oi! No, Peppa wouldn't say oi. <laughs> I'm gonna go, welcome to. No. Is this your first trip to Ulda? And please be voiced. Please. Oh. What? What? It's not voiced. Alright. How's it going, pal? What's good, my friend? I am chillin' Ahad. How are you? It's nice to see you. Do you know how many fucking times I lurk in your stream when I can't sleep? You put me to sleep, and I don't mean that in a bad way. I mean that in like a like your stream is so comfy that like I just chill to it. So shout out to your fucking hooligan ass like fucking three a.m. streams. Yo, oh, you like that? But no, none of that. Hi Jay, what's up? Peppa's pretty. She apparently well, I I feel like Peppa is yeah. I feel like Peppa is is British. She's literally Peppa Pig. Sorry, marrying the theme song was a great moment to join the channel. Guy, you're welcome. <laughs> I'm good, Ronan. That's sick final. Thank you. Me getting mad at apes on Valorant is comfy? Yes. It is. <laughs> Who are you? An experienced adventurer, you say? And you want to help me on my way? No? Well, I could certainly use some guidance. I've never been anywhere near as big and busy as Ulda. My name is Nagia... Jakia? Nagia Jak... Jak... Jakia? But just Nagi will do. And as you rightly guessed, I'm an aspiring adventurer. That's why I left my village and came here. Oh my god, he's literally us. So I understand that you first need to register at the Adventurers Guild. Do you know where it is? She said it's right this way. <laughs> I speak animalese. <laughs> just the door, is it? Thank you, I'll head there at once. Okay, bye. That's it. Quest is over. I finished it. I beat the game. Nagi rushes off before he can further offer further explanation. Perhaps you should follow him to the quicksand. Should I? I'm excited to see what this quest is going to give me. I'm not going to lie. That's like the only reason why I'm like eager to do it. <laughs> Alright. 
Oh my god, this is like kind of nostalgic. In and out. In and out. Come on, Nagi, you can do it. Oh, it's you again. To be honest, I'm quite nervous. It's heartening to have you here too. This music? Why, hello there! What can I do for you today? The lad's here to register, is he? <laughs> yes, madam, I wish to join the Adventurers Guild. My name is Nagia Jakia, and I'm 16 years old and practically a man grown! He is baby! <laughs> Aren't we a lively one? Mamoni's the name, and if you want to be an adventurer, then you've come to the right woman. I'm sorry, this is cute. There's nothing to it, really. You just need to write your name in the register. Come, come. Oh. Twitch is broken. Why is Twitch broken? I'm glad that you've been looking. Of course, a hot, of course. But it looks good in black. Mm hmm. Oh, she is fine. Your animal's voice is insane. What? <laughs> Hi, Swift. How are you? With that, you're officially a member of the Adventurers Guild. If you ever need a bit of advice about one thing or another, pay me a visit. Just don't go bothering me every time you step your bloody toe, alright? I love her. Of course, I do enjoy hearing tell of a gentleman's woes in the, with the woman folk from time to time. Whoa, 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 Mamori, he is 16. I'm just gonna have to dig going, but it's alright. It is fine. Vincent! Vince, how are you, Bean? Now then, normally I'd offer you the grand tour. But in light of present company, I reckon you ought to have it from her. She's a renowned adventurer, after all, the bleeding champion of Eorzea, and you could do far worse than to get her advice. <laughs> to begin with, mayhap you could recommend a guild here in Old Da for Nagi to join. If it's too noisy in here, there are benches just outside where you could have a nice little chat. Alright, I'm mommy now. <laughs> I have suddenly adopted this boy. This is my child. Alright, I'm gonna change Pepper's fit because it's too aggressive for this mission, I think. We're gonna go into this fit. Oh look, she's got new shoes by the way. They're kinda cute. They're kind of they're kind of sick. Alright. They're pretty. I think they match her outfit a little bit better than the ones that she had before. Let's see. I must confess, choosing a guild is quite daunting. I'd appreciate any advice you can offer. The following event cannot be skipped. You may wish to cancel any pending duty registrations. Or duty final registrations. Alright. Alright, let's talk guilds. Give me just a moment. Alright, let's talk guilds. Cutscene. Hey, Grim. Oh. I'm all ears, Pepper. Oh, this POV. <laughs> okay, hold on. Adventuring can be dangerous. What attracted you to it? Why did you want to become an adventurer? Uh, adventuring can be dangerous. Yeah, we'll go with the first one. A merchant who was in the carriage with me, a uh, Brie something. A Brie something? A Brie? Brie? Asked me much the same thing. At the time, I couldn't give a proper answer. I had a Brie something. I feel like I should know who that is. Is this a nod to the carriage that we're in at the beginning, and it's a nod to that guy? Anyways, at that time I couldn't give a proper answer. I had a reason for leaving home, of course, but I couldn't express it in words. But having now set foot in Ulda, it's become clear in my mind. I want to know what lay beyond the horizon. I wanted to see it with my own eyes and be amidst it. You've been to many places, right? You like it then? Traveling, that is. I love traveling. There's nothing like the thrill of seeing new sights. Traveling is nice, but I prefer to put my roots down somewhere. What makes sense for Pepper? I feel like Pepper does love traveling, but I feel like after the events in Heaven's World, like where she's at right now, she would love to put her roots down somewhere. I'm gonna go with that one. I feel like that's, that's, you know, canonically accurate for her. Truly, that's a little unexpected. And yet, perhaps it's when we've seen the world that we know there's a perfect place for us. One we'd like to call home. But inexperienced as I am, I don't know if I could live a life on the road. Is there a guild that could equip me with the skills I need? One representing students of the fighting arts, one representing crafters and gatherers. Students of the fighting arts. Me is a bit young for that, but 
I see. A place where I can learn how to protect myself and others. If I recall correctly, Uldah's home to the Pugil- Is it Pugilist? Yeah, and Thaumaturge, right? Thaumaturge's guild. Of those two, I choose the Pugilist. Is it Pugilist or Pug- Pugilist? Pugilist. It's Pugilist, right? I don't fucking know. I've always enjoyed rigorous exercise, and I'm quite confident in my physical abilities. Yes, I believe this is the guild for me. I'll go and join at once. Will you be alright by yourself? I can show you the guild if you like. No. Will you be alright by yourself? Thanks for your concern, but I should be fine. If you still have time, though, could we meet again afterwards? There are a few more things I'd like to ask you about. Oh my god, this is literally POV. Stop! This is actually pretty cute. Oh my god, I am small. Great, I'll look for you here when I'm done. Bye! That was very cute! This is super cute. I really hope that Final Fantasy does more of this. Oh, hi, Pepper! <laughs> is she reflecting? Is she just waiting? Is she just chilling? You wait a good while, but there's no sign of Nagi. Perhaps you should look in on him at the Pugilist Guild. Okay. <laughs> She's small. All right, where's the nearest ether eight? Oh, I guess I could just like go this way. I guess I don't really need to like TP. I mean, I could. Are we all just- are we all doing this quest? Are we all just running together? <laughs> oh yeah, it's right here. Perfect. Oh, cutscene. Cool. <laughs> that was the most impressive display, young one. Watching you reminded of myself in my youth. Swift, strong, and handsome. Not to say that I'm not these things anymore, of course. You're too kind, Master Hamon. Hamon? Hammon? Hammon. Oh no. <laughs> and I'm sure you're still all those things and more. Now, now, Nagi, take care. You don't flatter the old man over much. His neck couldn't bear his head getting any larger. Me. <laughs> oh, there's Pepper. Oh, Pepper, I'm glad to say that pugilism agrees with me. But thanks for your recommendation. Well now, Pepper, to think you're the one who sent Nagi to us. The lad possesses rare talent, and I look forward to watching him grow in our art. So pretty. Right then, my boy. Remember today's lesson well and keep up your training. Next time, we shall try something a little harder. You do a nod. I'm sorry for keeping you waiting. So engrossed was I in the combinations. I lost track of time. Oh, I should mention something. As I was training, a peculiar minstrel approached me. He said that if I'm resolved to walk an adventurous path, I should seek him out for a task. Moreover, he asks if you accompany me. If you're willing, he's apparently waiting at the Ruby Road Exchange. All right. Sounds good. Love how happy this game makes you. Thanks. Yeah, it's definitely a comfort game for me now. I love it a lot. Gonna wait until next month to renew my membership to play the new patch. Oh, no. Damn it. That's okay. You can live vicariously through me. I seem so much like we left Overwatch to play Final Fantasy. Good. Fuck Overwatch. <laughs> I shouldn't say that so loudly. I actually do really like Overwatch, but don't tell anybody that. <laughs> but this game is superior to every other game that I've ever played, so. <laughs> I really, really enjoy this game. It's so fun. It, 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 it feels like a little void in my heart, you know? I recently came back to this game for the PvP, but I couldn't stay away from the storytelling. Yes, the storytelling is brilliant. <sighs> Getting emotional right now. My friend, you have done a splendid job as a guide. I was right to entrust the task to you. What? Do you mean to say Pepper approached me at your behest? <laughs> yes, I did. She did, I must confess. You see, for my next composition, I seek to capture the essence of the times. While any number of servers would be worthwhile, of greatest interest to me is a recent rise in the ranks of adventurers. And thus, begin, and thus bringing, and thus bringing different generations of adventurers together, I had hoped for inspiration to strike, and I am pleased to say that it has. Drawing upon your experience walking a path, you have helped Nagi to begin walking his. A reminder that the present owes its existence to the past. That is to say, the present and the past are deeply entwined. If we, if we would capture the former, we cannot well disregard the latter. And this brings me to my next request. I ask that you find that you each find an object with a connection to Calamity, the event which gave rise to the realm's rebirth, and present it to me with its tail. Well, now that sounds not like a, like a. Tr that sounds not unlike a treasure hunt, and it'd be my very first task on the adventure. What do you say, Pepper? Shall we do it? I don't really have a choice in this, so yes, we will. Excellent. When you have your items, pray seek me out at the Ruby Road Exchange. I eagerly look forward to seeing what you bring. Eee! 
There are many vendors at the Sapphire Ave Avenue Exchange, right? Chances are they'll have something, so let's begin our search there. Okay. I'll try to leave Pepper mercilessly <laughs> sends a 16-year-old boy into a fist-fighting camp. <laughs> Stop! Stop! Pepper is a good bean. She would never do that. <laughs> um. All right, we'll just like TP over. Just show my voice that I just play TV detectives. I've been rewatching a very cozy detective shows this last week. Really? Who, if I may ask, or is that a spoiler? I've been relaxing and fixing my mental and staying away from my phone a lot. Good for you, Graham. I'm proud of you. I've been kind of doing the same thing. Um. Well, sort of, in the sense where, like, I'm focusing on myself to make sure that, like, you know, I'm all good, doing my work, blah, 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 that kind of thing. Community is super nice for the casual content I do. Hell yeah. They all got tips for a sprout. Um, do the MSQ and always do your dailies and don't feel like you're stuck with one specific class. You can learn as many jobs as you want um, at any time. So if you're suddenly thinking, hey, this guy just strip? I, I, I think, yep, I think he did. Um, if you ever feel like, hey, you know what? Maybe, you know, maybe Marauder isn't for me. Maybe Rogue is more up my alley. Mm, or you know what? I don't like DPS. Maybe healing is more for me. Feel free to experiment as you go on. This game is not a race. Play it at your own pace. I think that's very important for newbies to know. Mr. Spaghetti here plays a nice detective who comfort comfort eats and can't get a date. The other characters, the other security you haven't met yet. Okay, fair. <laughs> okay, Spaghetti here. That's like Nero, right? I love how you don't actually need an alt for this game instead of RP or extra swords. Yes, exactly. That too. You could do everything you want on one character, which we love. I don't need a tattoo to fill in that voice. I'm already needed a canvas for his portfolio. I got a nice big Vegeta tattoo for free. Nice, cool. Good night, calm night. Take care. I hope you have a calm night. Ooh, thank you, thank you. It was very overwhelming first day playing. I can imagine. This game was also very overwhelming for me. I didn't know, like, what I was doing. But after, I want to say, like, 30 to 40 levels, I settled into it very easily. Come on, let's begin looking around. Nag Nagia Jakia is now accompanying you. Keep him at your side in order to proceed with quest objectives. You can leave Nagi behind by entering a different area or by speaking with him and selecting the option to part ways. If you wish to have Nagi accompany you again, return and speak with him at the original location. While you are accompanied, you may encounter conversation points along the way which offer additional topics of discussion. Enter the glowing area and speak with your quest companions to initiate these most conversations. We're enjoying exploring your surroundings together. Okay, cute. <laughs> Shout out to you getting to Final Fantasy Spania while soon we're on Twitch. Thank you, Fresh Ronin. There's two Ronins in the chat. Interesting. But yes, thank you. I am super, super new to the fandom and the community. I have never played another Final Fantasy game before in my entire life. This is my first one. And I think I might try some others. I might try. I might try some others eventually. That's great. For me too. Yeah, Jay, you're one to talk. Also, hi, Jay. How are you? It's nice to see you. I haven't seen you in a hot minute. I streamed my first day, so I took nothing in. I still have the video of me hitting things in my Arcanist book. Oh my god, I still do that. Lantiago, thank you for three months. Something was your prime. I appreciate it. Well, I for one, I'm glad that it let me find you in your community. I'm fucking glad that it did too, Arcady. I am too. All right, let's do this. So he's like walking with me. Oh, this is kind of sweet. All right, so should I slow mo walk? Do I RP walk? Oh no, he'll run with me. Okay, cool. Independent Jula. Welcome, welcome. What is it that you're after? Objects with conditions of calamity, you say? Why? I have just a thing. An amethyst ring from Ishgard, steeped in sentimental value. Five years ago, on the eve of the Battle of Cartano, a young temple knight set out from his homeland, wishing to do his part for his wishing to do his part for Eorzea when his nation would not. Alas, the man never arrived in the flats. En route or en route, whatever, however you pronounce it, teach their own. He came upon a merchant being attacked by a dragon and lost his life going to the stranger's aid. This was his ring, an heirloom passed down through his line. What a tragic tale, but I wonder, how did the ring find its way back? If the knight fell, it seems the merchant could have, couldn't have survived unscathed. Um, uh, ah, I remember now. Though the knight was mortally wounded, he succeeded in striking down the dragon. Mm, I'm getting scammed. And with his last breath, he entrusted the ring to the merchant. Yes, that's how it happened. So what do you say? If you're that I would be willing to part with the relic for a special price, but for today only. <laughs> no. Yes, this does feel a bit dubious. I agree. 
Should I look around some more? Yes. Let's keep looking around. Ooh, a conversation point. Do I just enter it? Oh, oh, and I talked to him. Discuss the local cuisine. Everything looks amazing. In the course of your journeys, you must have sampled all kinds of food. From simple fare to exotic feasts. I look forward to sampling everything too. Oh, he's so hopeful. He's so cute. Alright, so let's keep going. One out of seven J's are here. I think there's actually a couple here. Alright, folks, have, have a good night. Gotta go to lunch. Bye, Kenzo! I think you've. I think you having turned off some UI, turned off some stuff as quest, there should be other markers on the ground. <laughs> I lied, I see them now. Tis, tis, Jay. Always thinking you know everything. Sai, before you see yourself. Do you see yourself ever trying out one of the mainline games? Uh, yeah, I really would love to. I don't know when that would happen. I don't know if it would be off stream or on stream, but I can definitely see myself doing that. For sure. Greetings, and welcome to my exhibit. Please feel free to browse at your leisure, and don't hesitate to let me know if you have any questions. We're looking for objects that bear a connection to Calamity. Do you have anything that fits the description? As a matter of fact, I do. Yonder Pain, entitled the Sultana 7, depicts an inspiring event from the Calamity. It was the final days before the fall of Dalamud. It's inexorable, inexorable approach. Oh my god! I saw Mini Orshifa and fucking froze for a moment. I... Okay, I forgot that was like my minion, or maybe that's someone else's minion, but I'm pretty sure it's mine. Holy shit. Okay, sorry. Going back. Um, uh, foretelling our impending doom. Panic spread like wildfire while many in their desperation turned on the sul Sultanate. Sultanate? 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 Sultanate, whatever. <laughs> Looting and rioting broke out across Ulda. To call the masses, her Royal Majesty Nanamo Ulnamo took to the streets with a guard consisting of only seven subjects, for they alone had the courage to stand with their sultana. There she addressed the rabble. Heed me, my beloved citizens. The realm lies upon the brink of the seventh umbral era. Yet so long as we live, we must not forget our compassion. Now is not the time to take from your neighbor, but to proffer him the hand of succor. Brought to their senses by her words, the people laid down their arms and set about healing the wounds they themselves had inflicted on Ulda. And those who returned from the battlefield found their home much as they had left it, a gleaming jewel in the desert. Her majesty sounds like a great ruler. Ulda is fortunate to have her watching over it. Thanks for sharing the tale. It's indeed inspiring, and you've done an incredible job capturing it in glass. So far, so good. Let's look around just a little more. All right. There's a conversation point up here. Discuss the House of Splendors. House of Splendors? What kind of place is this, I wonder? I see you're not familiar with the house. With the house! <laughs> we offer words in exchange for scripts, but our services are available only to those whom we know and trust. Wait, what are scripts? What are scripts? <laughs> Small Shrapont, please! The beat into the ADHD squirrel joke, but it's mini or Shrapont instead? Yeah. Me. <laughs> So if I want to be a customer, I need to make a name for myself. One day, Nagi, one day. Script exchange? Oh. Oh. You don't fucking trust me? Bet, bitch. Alright. Oh, it's a crafting and gathering currency? See, I haven't leveled any of that up, so I'm a little bit clueless in that department. Greetings! From daily necessities to unusual curios, I deal in all manner of wares. If there is something in particular you seek, you need but ask. Look at all the cat people here. I love it. Hmm. Objects to do with the calamity? The two of you are adventurers, are you not? In which case, I have something that may be of interest. It's a journal I acquired from an adventurer who tired injured. The man recorded his experience with the calamity in detail, and I dare say it has value for students of history. Oh, -ho, an adventurer's first hand account. I'd love to pour over it. Do you keep a journal of your adventures as well, Pepper? If so, I'd love to read it too one day. With your permission, of course. <laughs> oh, for another historical piece, I also have a scrapbook of articles from the Raven, Gridania's leading tabloid. These mainly cover events outside the Calamity, however. Then we're not that interested then. Oh, articles from the Raven, you say? Hmm. I dare say we've seen enough. Let's find a quiet spot to discuss what to bring back. Okay. You've seen enough objects and learn the stories behind them. Make your way to the end of the Sapphire Avenue Exchange with Nagia and speak with him. All right. Lady Dragons acquire currency. Correct. 
I'm really lazy to level up my crafters. Same. I don't want to. Like, at all. I don't keep a journal, but Elf Dad wrote a book about me? What? Elf Dad wrote a book about me? What does that mean? You mean, like, the memoirs? Right. This looks like as good as spot as any. <laughs> I read that so weirdly. Yeah, okay, the memoir. Okay, I just wanted to make sure that's what you meant. I, I couldn't tell if you meant um, Lord Edmond or if you meant my boy. I was like, Daddy? Daddy wrote for me? <laughs> I don't know about you, but that was all very unique exciting for me. Talking to a myriad of people, or to myriad people, learning the tale behind each object, it's been a great experience, and I won't soon forget it. Now then, we need to decide what we want to take to the minstrel. Have you made up your mind? Uh, the Ishgardian Knight's Ring, sounded like a scam. The Sultana Seven Pain, the Tired Avengers Journal. I think I'm gonna go with the Sultana, but I kind of... I'm very biased. If Orshavon wrote a book, it would only be stocked in adult bookshops. No, he is a sweet baby boy. He would not, no, it would be... It would be monumental. <laughs> oh, minstrel, not menstrual, girl. I know it's evil, what if it's not literally? I see, I see. I did consider that too, but in the end, it's on something else. What is it? He, if you don't mind, I like to keep it a surprise. Come on, let's bring our respective items and be back from the menstrual awards. Wait, so I can go get it? Wait. Oh no. I thought there'd be more. Oh shit. I thought there'd be more dialogue. You obtained the Ishgardian Knight's ring. Alright. Hmm. <laughs> so, a reminder. Now that more people, um, are here. Um, Pepper has a very important, um, event occurring at some point. We haven't planned it out, but... Um, will you be there when she ties the knot? Will you all travel to Goblin to witness the tying of the knot? <laughs> it would be like the officers, but written by a man above men. <sighs> but what if the Minstrel likes it anyways? Exactly! Exactly! See, you get me, guy, and you get me! <laughs> My big elf is on Goblin, he'll be there? Perfect. Not me about to cry. What? Thank you. <laughs> Welcome back. You found each item. You've each found an item I trust? Yes. Well now, what have we here? Mm-hmm. You can attend weddings with data set on travel, correct. So we'll be protesting outside. <laughs> as soon as I figure out how to travel, I'll be there with plenty of Gale catnip to throw. Perfect. Oh, hold on. No, I'm gonna cry. No, I'm gonna cry. I thought it was only- st it was still home server now? No! Was it really? Fuck, I didn't know they changed that. Um, but I'm gonna cry. A knight who set out to fight for the realm and gave his life for a stranger? Be it fact or fiction, tis a moving tale of valor and sacrifice. You mean my boy? You mean my sweet boy? A knight who set out to fight for the- <gasps> A knight who... <gasps> who set out to fight for the realm? Pepper may not have been a stranger, but he gave his life to protect her? And you can't fucking tell me. You can't tell me. No, I will die by- th I Okay, I don't know. I don't know. Oh my god. I don't know if it's canon. I don't know if this is me. I don't know if it's a head canon. I don't know if it's something that's been talked about. But there is no way in my heart and hit with his character, there's no way that Orshafont didn't know that his shield couldn't hold that. There is no way. 
He knew. He knew that it was either like him or, or me, and he picked himself. There's no way. He a hun- Yeah, he a hundred percent knew! I am strong! I am strong! I am not strong. I am not strong. And also, Spy, whoa, was it you that raided me? Thank you for the raid. Welcome, raiders. My name is Syra. I'm a variety streamer and I'm not okay. Remembrance, they may have altered the lives of those who have lived them. Cool. Yes. Alright, now what did he get? Now then, what of you, young Nagi? What did he get? And what might this be? It's a scrapbook of articles from the Raven. You see, my sister is a reporter for the tabloid. During the calamity, she would travel the realm, interviewing adventurers about their journeys. And I love nothing more than to hear her tales. They seem like such a diverse crowd, adventurers. No two people were alike, and yet they were united in the free, unshackled lives they lived. <sighs> it struck a chord with me, and in time, I found myself admiring them. Looking back, it was my sister who instilled in me the desire to see the world, to become an adventurer. That's why I chose a scrapbook. Check your Twitter DMs when you have the chance. Do I do it now? Should I check it now? I came for the game to save the tears as we all do. A small better since hero gold and I shut up. No rush. You'll hate me. Jay, I will always hate you. That's not something that's new. So this that can wait then. I see <laughs> the footprints someone leaves in a journey become the starting point for another. Oh, what's going on here? What's going on? Yes, a verse comes to me. A blessing for those souls who are taking their first cherry steps into the unknown. Pray, lend me your ears. Okay. Oh. What's going on? Oh, I don't remember. This is when she gets a new crystal, or recovers a crystal, and this is when she sees an echo, right? Or speaks with God, apparently. <coughs> Jesus? Minfilia? Heidelin? Other adventurers? Every single... Uh, an adventure of every... Oh, it's Jay! Jay, I didn't know you were in this cutscene. What's going on here? What's that? Who's gonna come out of that? Who's this? Who the fuck is this? What's going on? Who is this? Should I know who this is? This looks like Jay with glasses on. Jay, why are you in my game? Why are you in my game? Is this Yoshi P? What's going on? Nah, he's a fucking falafel. Greetings, Warrior of Light. I'm trying to think of who this could be. This is not the Warrior of Darkness. I don't fucking know. Why am I gasping? 
This is a world that exists outside your reality. Could it be a dream? A flight? A fancy conjured by your weary mind? Perhaps. Or perhaps not. It is a pleasure to make your acquaintance. My name is... I don't know how to pronounce that. Yoshida, and I beckon you here that I might express my gratitude. Isn't that one of the... Yeah, that's... Isn't this... Yeah. Right? It actually is. Yeah, that's jokes. That's actually jokes. That's fucking hilarious. That is so funny. He's like, I just fucking... He just fucking emerges from a fucking portal. He's like, what's up? What up, bitch? <laughs> that's really fucking funny. Uh, that's really funny. And I beg you here that I might express my gratitude. Is he thanking me? Is he thanking me for playing his game for giving him money? First of all, I wish to thank you for continuing to grace us with your presence. You and your fellow adventurers are our inspiration and this shall never change. The world, however, is an ever-changing place, mysterious in its elusiveness. Unexpected hardships may turn our lives upside down, though we all des desire, desire, peace deep in our hearts. The sparks of conflict never cease to be struck. Like an adventurous journey, the world is constantly moving towards the unknown, and it takes considerable courage to alter course. Yet I ardently believe that it is a small but significant step in our quest to create new adventures. Indeed, another great change is about to visit the world, and it shall open the way to exciting new journeys. Okay. And tis our abiding hope that our journey together shall ever continue on to the distant horizon and beyond. So he's telling me to continue my sub. I see. I am sold. <laughs> now, the time has come for this vision to end. Time for your eyes to open from this waking dream. Return to your walking path and know that you are in our hearts always. That's very cute. Till we next meet. I bid you safe travels. That's very cute. Heard you talking shit on Twitter, so I'm here to rearrange your guts. Whoa, rearrange my gut. What do you mean, my guts? <laughs> Ow, just tugged my hair a little bit too much. Thank you for the generous reward. I'm so glad I could hear it. And the uplifting verse, it gives me courage for the road ahead. Speaking of which, it's time I set out on my own. Though it was brief, I enjoyed our time together, and I hope to see you again, somewhere out there. Come what may, never for-
I know this is emotional, but option two is literally <laughs> say hi to your sister for me. It's very fuckboyish, which is really funny. <sighs> or Siobhan deserves to be remembered and break <laughs> and break hearts once more. No. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to say that for obvious reasons. <laughs> my eyes are burning. I have so much makeup in my eyes. They're on fire. Oh my god. The much... More, much and more was lost in the calamity and trepid souls continue set forth, paving the way into the future. In such a moment in history, do we stand for you and me? Oh my god. I can't see. My eyes are burning. I haven't cried this hard since he died. <laughs> Um, your life is a riddle to bear gladness and grief neath stars and through storms. The answer is to seek. Oh my god, my eyes are fucking burning. Oh my god, my eyes are on fire. I'm trying to, like, just soak it up. Fuck. Your footprints are threads to be gathered and, and woven. Woven. A song of dawn resplendent, dancing high to the heavens. From the embrace of the gods, though mankind has been torn, upon winds, eternal lives, and memories are born. The future is unwritten, bring it rapture or sorrow, our journey shall continue unto tomorrow and tomorrow. Oh my god, my fucking eyes are on fire. Oh my god. <laughs> Fireworks. So pretty. I wonder, how did you feel as you watched Nagi set off? Did the sight fill you with worry for a fledgling adventure? Or did it awaken fond memories of your own humble beginnings? Whichever it may be, I know that yours is a journey more trying than most. There will be times when you are overcome by loneliness and each step feels heavier than the last. In such a moment, I bid you remember this. Why am I getting therapized by this game again? The Dark Knight questline did this to me and now this shit? God, I can't catch a break! So long as you harbor love for this world, ever shall there be a place for you in it. Your adventures will never end. That was cute. She go, mm? Yeah. She go, mm. <laughs> yeah, girl, you watch those fireworks. If I may, I recommend, I recommend not reading the description of the reward for this quest. Kind of spoilery. Well, now I'm going to. That was cute. That was fucking cute. I like that. That was nice. Um, spoilery in what way? Is that, isn't that Emmett? No lands must remain beyond a go for conquer rule. Yeah, that's Emmett, right? Every time I come to a side stream, she's crying. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I'm always crying. Blame Yoshi P. It's not my fucking fault. This game is emotional. <laughs> it's not my fault. <sighs> God. <laughs> You have unlocked the jigsaw puzzle mini game to play mini games over the torch has found in any in room. Cool. <sighs> I had jigsaw. Oh, I get hung. Thank you for the hug. I appreciate it. Um, sorry, Jay. What didn't you want me to read? I. It's already gone. Um. Wait, yeah, what is it? What is it that you didn't want me to read? Uh. Oh, did I already read it? Oh, just when I unlocked the minion? Oh, yeah, because it's right here. Um. I mean, I, I know who Emmett is, and I unfortunately know things that you don't know. Um, so I don't know if it's going to be a spoiler for me, but. I, 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 I won't read it. I'll try not to. Um, okay. Alright, Jay, what did you send me? You said that I'm gonna hate you. I'm scared. 
Did you send it on my main? Yeah, you did. You sent a photo? What is it? You five minutes into a stream. <laughs> Hold on, I can't- I can't show- uh, show stream. Um, actually wait, I can if I do it like this. <laughs> you could have gotten a better crying screen cap. Hold on. That's so funny. <laughs> That's actually hilarious. I can't help it. <laughs> I can't help it. What Vosk dancing in the background? So, I guess now I should go get the emote, huh? Would now be a good time to get the emote? <laughs> Should I go do that now? <laughs> Not the gasp. <laughs> I'm so sad. Someone waving at me. Is that at me? I don't know if that's at me or not. Daddle and Small? Daddle, Daddle and Small? What a username. I had no idea you still had to do that. Yeah. I didn't get it yet. I didn't know I could get it until later. I came in on quite a moment, but I hope you're enjoying Final Fantasy. You're Final Fantasy 14 Journey? I am. I am. Also, hi, Sardix. Hi. Uh, okay, so I know I have to pick up the quest in Idleshire. I think I kind of know where it is. I'm not too sure, but we'll go do that now. Oh my god, my voice just cracked really badly. I'm so sorry. It's embarrassing. Oh, it's you. Thank you for the headbutts. You're gonna battle for in the coven officially tomorrow. I look forward to that as well. We're officially rank eight. I think rank eight or nine, so like I can like now give us like some pretty good boosts. The emote quest line. Mm -hmm. If I had a nickel for every time Sai has cried over Final Fantasy, I think I'd have five. Every single time this game has made me cry, it has been or chiffon related. I got emotional over Gabu, but I have only cried over my boy, so I don't know what that means. I have cried so much over him. Okay, so I know the quest is like somewhere here. I don't even know if I have it unlocked. I beat Heaven's Ward, so I should. I don't know if, hi Jin. I don't know if I already have it and just didn't realize it. Isn't it like the burdens we bear or something like that? Listen to Steward in Count of no quest line starts inside. It starts inside Fortal Manor. Are you fucking serious? I was in it not long ago, and I, there was nothing there. Not that I was just casually checking in on, on the family. Is that a state? Okay. I thought it was in Idleshire, but I guess like it starts there. Okay. First off, hi sire. I'm also here for the fluffy fuel streams. Yay! Hi, brave. But yes, sir. Already the first quest is the paths we walk. Maybe I've started it. Maybe. How to find out. Um, so what is it called? Um, the paths we walk. Um, no, it doesn't look like I've started it. Okay, let's go in here. <laughs> The burdens you bear. That's what I thought it was called. Yeah. I may have started it. Yeah, there's no one here like offering it to me. Like where where else am I have I oh the hubba ha the hubba ha the hubba ha the hubba ha okay. Um it doesn't look like I have it. Can I not get it yet? Am I saving myself from pain? 
Multiple cuts in the chain? Okay, thank you. I know nothing about this game. What is you doing? Hi, Graham. I'm crying over my 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 boy who has left me and um Yeah. This is the first one. Maybe I already got it. What are the names of all the quests? That way I can like actually see if I like, you know. Um the Pals We Walk. Oh. I have started it. This. Oh, I do remember this sort of-ish. Okay, where is the second one? Yeah. So I have completed this one. So where is the next one? <laughs> where do I go from here? Where do I pick up the next one? Or do I come back to the steward? I don't think I do. Go to Mordona? Okay. Um, okay. Oh, so we swear? Okay, cool. I'll go find it now. Thank you! I do remember doing that quest. I think I did it offline and I was like, interesting. Um, yeah. Higiri, Higiri, Higiri. I know that name. I don't remember who that is though. I will find it. Hi, Jin! Again! Are you in here? Are you in the Rising Stones? No, your blouse is a gong. Um, let's see. Toll booty. I love me some toll booty. Okay. Oh, are you are you taking me there? I found it, bitch. I don't need you. You don't gotta. You don't gotta guide me. But thank you. <laughs> Thanks for the coordinates, chat. I found it though. We're good. We're chillin'. <sighs> Are we all just going? Are you all just keeping me company? Oh, is it in here? No, it's up in here. Yeah. Oh. I think it might be above me, actually. Or maybe it is in here, and I'm... No, okay, I think it's above me, then. I don't know where the stairs are. <sighs> above, I believe? Yeah. Let's keep it cry, baby company. Thank you. The trauma chain? <laughs> I need my army of Orchifonts! I need my pepper font! Prevention was ever better the cure as Higiri knows only too well. Will you be traveling to Uldan next? If so, I would ask a favor of you. I have prepared a special to aid in General Raban's rehab rehabilitation. Injuries such as his must be tended to daily, even long after they have healed. You need only deliver it to his man, Commander Swift. He will see the that the flame general receives it. Okay. So we're going back to Old Dawn now. Oh. 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 Okay. Yeah, it's my support network. Hello, everyone. I'm eating cheese for dinner. I'm thriving. Elise, I want cheese. Can you share? I want cheese. I honestly, I didn't think I would cry. I am emotionally spent. So I think we'll get the emote and then I may have to hop off. After doing the Dark Knight quest line, I I don't know what it did to me, but it hit really, 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 really hard. Um, the level 70 quest line was incredibly personal to me. And I've never felt so like comforted and like seen by a game before. And I had to like take a break from like the MSQ. I like I couldn't stream, I kept myself busy. Um. And um. This is just as bad. <laughs> you just have a lot of feelings. It's okay. Yeah, I do. I do have a lot of feelings. Oh, someone just waved at me. Is it you? It is you. Hi. I do. I do a welcome. Oh, I ran before I could finish it. I'm sorry. It's all good. 
I know it's fine, but like, I just didn't, I, uh, yeah, the writers know what they're doing and it hurts. <laughs> it hurts. Greetings, Pepper. What is that you have there? Got this shit. <laughs> I was not aware the general requires such stuff. And one of our doman friends made this for him, did she? Very well. I shall be sure to pass it on. Actually, wait here. We have just this moment concluded a meeting, and I expect he would be glad to speak with you before returning to the palace. Okay. Our boy! So, Commander Swift tells me that you came all this way to deliver Unguinguint. Yeah, unga bunga. <laughs> Daily, she says. Ha! Well, mayhap it is best to be prudent. The gods alone know why you agreed to deliver it. Uh, the gods alone know why you agreed to deliver it for her, though. No, she means to favor me with that room after her question? Oh, no, no, no. No, 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 no. <laughs> I just last. You're on a journey of reflection, are you not? I, Merlewib, said as much. Now you want to relive the moment you pulled me from the pit Hillbird left me in to rot. It shames me to think of it, but I was so blind to his hatred. Lilderito tells me that it was not always so, that Hillbird admitted to him that he once believed that I would return to Alamigo at the head of an army. But years passed, and I did nothing. For all my accomplishments, for all my, peop for all my wealth, power, and influence, I did not to better the plight of my people. Not for lack of trying, but Ilbert didn't know. He thought the bull of Alamigo had grown fat and complacent. That my story set a bad example for our countrymen. I do remember him saying that, actually. I think pretty much word for word. Forget your homeland and chase the old dawn dream. A fine, impossible dream which gave men the strength to endure their hardships and try to make new lives for themselves here. So the dream had to die. He would kill me, stir up the delusioned arm them at the uh, monetarist expense and then and then forgive me the scions paid the price of my failings the gods know I have no shortage I have no shortage of debts to repay a vows to keep and duties to discharge but mark me well lass there will be a reckoning mayhap not today mayhap not tomorrow but a reckoning there will be Did I already finish this one quest? <laughs> a refugee of a fallen nation, he had risen from the depths of poverty, poverty to claim a seat on the syndicate. And yet, for all his great deeds, one was left undone. And like sands through an hourglass, the years slipped away, taking with them an old friend's hope. That was sad. Visit Gorgane Mills in the Curthus Western Highlands. Oh god, okay. Oi. Thank god I can fly in Falcon's Nest now. Alright. How long is this quest line? Will I be okay? Oh, dude, I'm so exhausted. How was raiding today, Sarnix? I think I remember you saying that you were spending like most of today doing that. It was good? Great. Why are we smiling? Chat, why are you smiling? No, now I'm scared. Mm. I hung him, my boy. I hung my boy. I keep him close. I wanted Or Chiffon plushie really badly. How oh, plushy of you. So I can pet you and squeeze you and cry. Now for the real fun. Oh, at Sarnix? I don't know what P6 and P7 means, but good job. <laughs> good job. I think. <laughs> no fun for me? Yeah. <laughs> I figured as much. By the Fury, is that you, Mistress Mint? Forgive me, but 
What reason could you possibly have for returning to this godforsaken place? My happiness fate which brings you here on this day of introspection and reflection. We are come to Gorgon Mills... Gorgane? I suppose Gorgane, right? To accept the surrender of a half dozen heretics. Heretics. Who once fought for the Lady Iceheart. If you are intending to visit sellers, I would ask you to do nothing to unsettle them. Alright. Um... Oh, Fosk! Are you okay? Do you need a fire, my dear? No fun for Sarah, only tears. Yeah. Only Sag. Let's talk to this guy. Wait, I know you. You were at the amphitheater with the dragon slayer. I I suppose we owe you an apology. When you came to us seeking parlay, seeking to parlay, we were sure it was a scheme to lure out our lady. We were sure about a lot of things. When she first shared her revelation, when she told us that she was not Saint Shiva reborn, we assumed it was a test. For had we not prayed for salvation? Had she not descended to deliver us from evil? She replied that our prayers were but fuel for a fever dream, a construct born of desperation and denial. She was no savior, she said. But when we marched upon Ishgard regardless, she pulled us from the brink of oblivion and implored us to find another way. And here we are, ready to lay down our arms at last. It's time. She considered you a friend. Had things had been different, mayhap we could have been friends too. Farewell. Bam. Forsaken by gods and men, they found salvation in a revelation. They would take up arms against their own kind to set ancient wrongs to right. Cut out Ishgard's festering heart and the war would be over. This they knew, believed with all their being, until their savior told them their efforts would be for naught. I was gonna say be for be in vain, but you know. Visit Jantalot at the Con Victory. Jantalot. Do I know who that is? I do know who that is. I do. Do I remember though? Do I remember? Do I? I have a glam I wanna show you. I'm not looking forward to this. Is it gonna make me cry? <laughs> 12 p.m. to 12 a.m. Eastern. Holy shit, you literally just ended. Where are your ears? Well, I'm not doing MSQ, so no ears right now. And also, Grit, thank you for the five-month reset. May your tears and mascara replenish your soul, if only. LOL, no. Okay, what's the glam? What is it? You got your titties out? Listen to that, wait. Listen to that song I linked in Discord, and just want to tell me I'm right? Wait, what song? What are you talking about, Vosk? Is that at me or is that at somebody else? Oh, that was also at Sarnex. Okay. <clears throat> Look at my little chocobo. It's so cute. <coughs> it's just a baby. It's just a baby. Mm. I remember farming quests here now to level up. <laughs> Yes, okay. Well, if it isn't the great warrior of light herself, she who slew the dreadworm Nidhogg, bring an end to a thousand years of war, and my very livelihood. Woo! I'll accept that in a second. Well, go on then. Strike me down and finish the job. Stab me right in the heart. I'll even lend you my spear if you like. After all, I won't be bloody needing it. Yo. Daddy? Chell. Wahahaha. -ha -ha. Tell me true. For a moment, I had you fooled. Ye gods, as if I could hate the woman who rid us of Nidhogg. Oh, unless you worry, that business about me losing my livelihood couldn't have been further from the truth. In point of fact, peace is proving surprisingly lucrative. As our nation's ties to Praisvelgar's brood have grown stronger and our interests in Dravania have begun to expand, we have seen a marked increase in the number of travelers on the road. Needless to say, said travelers require protection, which we are only too happy to provide. Granted, such a work will not earn you a lordship like slaying a dragon might, but it pays well and is far less prone to end in incineration, which seems a reasonable enough compromise, all things considered. As long as there are wars to fight, there will be those who take up arms not out of hatred or even sense of duty, but for want of better employment. Oof. When presented with an alternative, such individuals may gladly trade their swords for scythes, or failing that, pledge them to a more worthy cause. Alright, Zarnex. 
Show me your guns. Oh! Are you showing me the wings? You have wings. Did you always have wings? When did you get these wings? When did those wings come in? Are these new? Why do you have wings? Can you fly? I can be your angle. Or your devil. Yo! Wait! Wait! This armor is sick! Wait! The changing from like pink to purple? Bro! You look dope! Your armor is sick! Love it! You look great. You look great. I'm only uh, I'm only slightly jealous. I thought Orstron was looking up your fucking goods for a second. <laughs> Alright, Javania. Alright, we gotta go speak to Marcia Shaw. Okay. Looks like he's ready for a raid. It's a new raid tier. Ooh. So I'll never get it. Nice. <laughs> Alright. I know he's like in this building, right? Like sitting at the table? If I remember correctly, of course. Something the matter, lass? Not giving you trouble? A journey of remembrance, eh? Gods. Feels like only yesterday that you sailed turned up in tail feather with you in tow. Back into our lives and gone all too soon. Did I ever tell you how we found her five years back? In a torp- in a torpor? Out in the forest all by her lonesome? I well, we weren't about to leave her there, so we carried her back here and tended to her till she woke up. I didn't say a word for days, he sail. Just sat there and stood up at the sky as if the ground held nothing for her. But it didn't, we learned, when she finally spoke. Now you might think she's not one to smile. But if you'd seen her in those years that followed... Then one day, all of a sudden... She said she's got a truth that must be shared. Up and leaves with the gods nowhere. And that was the last we heard of her. For a time. Redemption's not beyond us, friends. Come and hear the truth. Come and hear the Lady Iceheart speak. And they did, from far and wide, or so the story went. Some said there was nothing in it, but I knew. I knew. I think, Pepper, that deep down, most folk want to do right by themselves and by others. And they try. Oh, how they try. You do, certainly. And so did she. The legacies we leave, is that the next one? He needs more salt, the hunter becomes a Yeah, it's the legacies we leave, that's the next one, right? Apologies, you came here to think on your own memories, not listen to mine. I take it the Nath or next? Right then, if we're to do this properly, you'll need to gather up your incentives, same as before. In case you've forgotten, oh, fuck me. That's a basket of fresh uh, kalem tree fruit, a good-sized jar of land trap nectar, and a dirty, great cartload of young nanka flush. Ack, come on, last Surely you can't be that bloody daft. You're more than welcome in their village already. Oh, fuck, thank God. Thank fuck. <laughs> I was not about to do that shit again. Um, over here? Yes. All right. Thank God. I don't want to do no fetch quests. I am- that is above me. Oh, I can't fly here. Alright, we're running. We're running, babes. <laughs> Alright. I'm gonna put my glasses back on, because y'all don't need to see my tears. Oh, you can still see them. Okay, good. <laughs> so I think it's gonna be down here, right? Right? Is it? Can I go this way? Should be able to, right? I don't think it's the other way. I think it's here, and then like, I can turn. I'm pretty sure. If I remember correctly, it wasn't that long ago that I did this quest line. Or not this quest line, but like this MS, like the MSQ stuff here. Yeah, it's right here, right? Where that like Orby thingy is? I wonder how long this quest line is. I hope it's not like too long. But I mean, we'll see. And Voss is already there with Sarnix. <laughs> Hunter of dragons and gods, I bid you welcome. What would you ask me of ask of me this day? Once we would have no conception of what you speak. The one mind does not forget, but we do. It can be most distressing. To remember is not enough. One must strain and give words to memory and inscribe words upon parchment. 
This is the chronic chronic chroniclers chroniclers calling. He wrote of how you came to Lothast Vath and how you left to slay Ravana, and how the young hunter trained with the old hunter while you were away. We shall treasure these memories, this history you have given us, and when you Vath join us, we shall share it with them as well. Bound no longer to the will of the many, they were now free to walk their own path. Thus reborn, they would write the first chapter of a new history to be passed on to future generations. And as their culture grew older and richer, so too would their story. Love that. Visit Vidofnir? Oh, fuck. All right. It's dragon time. Whee. Alrighty. This is kind of nice. I feel like... I feel like I'm glad that I'm doing this with like before I, I get like balls deep into Stormblood. Uh, definitely wish I did it earlier. Completely forgot it was a thing. In fact, I barely knew it was a thing. <laughs> so, um, yeah. I think this is pretty fitting. Uh, a little bit solemn, I guess, but I mean. Last few months has just been dreadful, so let's be real. What else did I expect? <laughs> Uh, so I think it's right in here, right? Yes, yes, there's feet off here. Friend of Ysail, warrior of warriors, thou art ever welcome in Annex Shrine. What bringeth thee to us this day? <laughs> there is much wisdom to be gained from looking to the past. To walk half remembered paths and mark anew their twists and turns. We too do this, though not through pilgrimage, nor less the written word beloved of thy historians, or beloved, whatever. In song do we preserve the deeds of our lost and chronicle the passing of the ages. Not hath greater power. Woo! That came out weird. <laughs> to stir our hearts. It was a dirge of profoundness, profound is sadness that roused Nidhogg's brood to action. A dirge which soundeth no more. Now a new song r rises to fill the void. One of hope rekindled, of war's end and peace's rebirth. I shall sing of thee any sail ever after, that all may know and remember. In the chorus, the fallen could rise once more, for none are dead whose names yet echo in the heavens. And the song would not end until the last voice fell silent. Heroes and villains, sinners and saints, all would live again. Visit Moglen? Oh, great! <laughs> My Moggy babies. Okay, wait, we're still in Javania. What am I doing? All right, that's up here, yes. Yes. Okay. I'm getting nervous. I'm getting it's 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 starting to to hit that like emotional like level again and I I am getting nervous. I am a little scared. I I'm I'm a, I'm a little scared. Okay, so I think Moglin is in here, right? Moglin's the big one, I think. No. Why do I feel like that one had a bit had a better name, like Mogginton the fucking twelfth? <laughs> uh, let's see. Oh no, Moglin is the big one. All right. Huh. Hi, Sarnix. Oh, it's given cutscene. Well, yank my. Well, yank my palm and call me a mole bat. I certainly wasn't expecting to see you today. Still calling yourself Pepper? Uh, not that there's anything wrong with that, Koopo. Uh, anyway, what are you doing here? <laughs> Thank heavens for that. I was sure you were going to ask for help with yet another one of your irks. Irks. Sighting quests. But by all means, we'd love to pass the time reminiscing about the good old days. And when better than now, Koopo, what with your friends visiting and all, wait here and I'll fetch them. My friends? Uh, where are my friends? I have friends? Oh shit! The Elder Seed Seer, or whatever. Full glad am I to see you again, Pepper, and in Mog Home of all places. Kupopo, it really is you, and just when we were about to leave. I think it wonderful, this pilgrimage of yours. A final reflection upon the past, that you might face the future with eyes unclouded and a heart at peace. You would deny that the events of recent days warrant such contemplation. When last we stood in this place, I dare say none among our number would have believed what was to follow, young Estinian least of all. Upon learning what befell him at Azisla, I confess I thought him lost. But when Master Alfino told me of your great struggle and of his salvation, I was reminded of your talent for the impossible. 
you ask me, he seemed altogether too stubborn to die, though I suppose it is no small feat to evict a spite-filled worm once it has made its home in one's head. With Nidhogg's passing, the children of Ishgar and Dravania may at last look to the future. It is my hope, however, that they will not forget the deeds of, of history, nor the many thousands of lives lost in our conflict, for only through remembrance will they avoid the mistakes of the past. Moment of silence. We thank you again for your hospitality, Chieftain Moglin, and pray that you will one day visit, one day allow us to extend you the same courtesy. I wish you well on your journey, Pepper. May you ever walk in the light of the crystal. Until we meet again, Koopo. Was that it? Hi, Anna. How's MSK been going? It's been going good. I've taken a little bit of a break. Uh, we did the the seasonal event made me cry I got very emotional and now we're doing the quest line that gives me or chiffon some moat so we're getting there even in the farthest reaches of distant dangerous lands one may chance upon a friendly face though given to mischief and largely unconcerned by the troubles of the outside world they came to understand Ishgard's plight and agreed to lend their aid eventually that is make camp in the ruins southeast of Zenith Book and I can't fly there. I guess I can go here and that will be a little bit closer. Because I don't like navigating around Log Home. Hello, Ahads. What's up? So we have Ahad and now we have Ahads. Sick. I love to see it. These little quests made you cry and you haven't even done Shadowbringers. Shut up. <laughs> Listen, it made me cry because I picked the Ishgardian knight ring thing and it reminded me of my it reminded me of my boy, okay? It was like uh, totally on purpose too. Hi Dickwood, how are you? Wait, there's another yes! One of my friends is simply a hod. So, yes, there is a hod and now there is a hods. I love to see it. The Ahad Nation grows ever more. Okay. Let me hop on my fucking chocobo. Alright. But I was telling chat that the only things like in this game that have made me cry have been like or chiffon related. So we'll see. We'll see what else in this game can like tug at my heartstrings. I know Gabu did make me emotional. I did tear up a bit, but Thernix, are you just chilling? Are you just just vibing? You making camp with me? <laughs> That's the motherfucker that takes a hot in every game. <laughs> yes, it probably is. Damn, Pepper, you look good. Don't mind me taking a quick screen cap. The crackling warmth of Alfino's campfire. The savory waft of Isale's bubbling stew. The soft snoring of Mo of Moghans asleep on the grass. Ooh, I'm like stuttering, sorry. cold wind blew that night as well. And on the morrow they mounted the steps and blew the horn, but having climbed the summit with hope in their hearts, they ascended dejected, weighed down by truths too grim to contemplate. Yeah. It was rough, wasn't it? Is that it from here? Uh, visit the Royal Promenade in Ulda. Oh, that's the Moogle quest. Okay. And a land. C A M P F I R E S the one G song. C A M P F I R E S the one G song. And if you can't sing it faster, no. And if you don't think that we can sing it faster, then you're wrong. But it'll help if you just sing along. Bum bum bum. C A M P F I R E S the one G song. Patrick. That song is rent free in my head. <laughs> I fucking love that song. I really want to play this game, but I'm so intimidated. It feels. It seems like I'm so far behind. Oh, no, 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 no. You can play this game at whatever speed you want. Have you seen me? I am nowhere near where almost everybody else is. I am very far behind, but it's fine. I have some friends who have only just picked it up, and they've already caught up with me. You can play this game at whatever pace you want. Do not feel intimidated. It is about your adventure and only your adventure. And that's what's important. You gotta remember that. <laughs> 
Whew. All right. You there! Over here, quickly! Okay. I should have known you would see through my disguise, but enough talk. I, I was gonna, I was just going to ask if that was Nanamo. Uh, we cannot linger here lest the guards recognize her Sultana. I could tell by just like the color of her outfit, not even just like her face. <laughs> Where are we going, babes? As you may have deduced, I was taking the air outside the palace when I saw you standing there, staring off into space. Have you something on your mind? I understand completely. So much has happened. So much has changed. And all in, s in so short a space of time. Even now I struggle to make sense of it all. But one thing, at least, is abundantly clear. I owe you an immense debt of gratitude for all you have done on my behalf, and on behalf of those whom I hold dear. After I awoke, Papa Sean told me everything. It was a lot to take in, but nothing could prepare me for what Lord Lollarito had to say. That ruthless, manipulative swine came before me and expressed regret for what had come to pass, and, thinking to make amends, offered all of Teleji Adeleji's assets, as well as half of his own personal fortune, to the crown, and I accepted. Long did I debate how best to use his wealth. There is no end to the troubles facing our nation, and no shortage of worthwhile causes. Yet none among our people have suffered more than the refugees, and it is they who shall be first to receive aid and succor. Aww. There's also the matter of the terrible wrongs committed against you and yours, for which I am in large part responsible. Nay, do not protest. It is the truth. Accordingly, I have set aside monies to aid in the Scion's rebuilding, if you would have them. That's so generous. That'd be most welcome. Thank you, Grace. May happy be best if we did not. No, that is that is most welcome. Thank you. Pray do not thank me, not after all you have suffered, and know that I do not think to atone for my mistakes with money. It is but a tool which I would see put to good use. Oh, listen to me. So much for enjoying a moment's respite outside the palace's walls. It rather seems as if I have brought my my responsibilities with me. I suppose I should return. Lady Lyria! Lady Lilira? L wait, Lady L Lilira. Lady Lilira! Whoo! Lady Lilira, you must come home at once. Father is worried sick, you know. God confound it, you lot. Search that area. I know she came through here. On the other hand, it is essential that a ruler see firsthand how our subjects go on their daily lives, and I have not visited the markets in weeks. But it seems a shame to let this opportunity go to waste. <laughs> Pepper, might I impose on you to have a brief yet cord cordial conversation with this with those sultans worn? I leave the choice of a subject matter up to you. Take care. What? The choice of subject matter? Alright. Hi, Red! Devs are trying to make it as close to a single player experience as possible so they know not everyone wants to play an MMORPG. It's a super versatile game. Yeah, this game is an RPG before an MMO, which I am obsessed with. Oh, he's talking my bad. So you can literally play it as casually as you want. Ah, uh, I beg your pardon, miss, but did you perchance see a young Lalafelon noblewoman pass this way? No! Are we certain? Oh dear, oh dear. Master Papashan said this might happen, but I never truly believed he was serious. The triumphs we share. The Sultan Sworn Elite sports a faintly troubled expression, as if string to remember something important. Wait, I know you! You're Pepper! Peppermint! What a stroke of luck! I can think of none better qualified to help us. You see, it is no mere noblewoman that we seek. <sighs> but Master Papatron was most explicit about the need for secrecy. I forget I mentioned it. We will find this. We will find the lady on our own. Bye. What cruel fate to lose her father as a child and be compelled to rule in his stead. And how the years have tempered her dreams and taught her, sometimes brutally, the price of night naivet. Naive, naivety. Naivety. Naivety? Naivety. Yeah, whatever. Though outwardly unscathed by her ordeal, it was a wiser and more wary Nanamo who claimed the throne. Good for her! 
Revenant's tr oh, I almost said Revenant's Troll. Revenant's Toll. Okay, we're going back here now. This game is some of those that let you undertake to them. Yes! Dickwood! Listen to Viking. Everything they're saying is true and it will sell you on the game instantly. Play this shit. If you haven't tried the free, the free trial, do that. You can play this game up to basically where I am for free for 30 days. So you get a fuck ton of content. You can, and then decide from there if you actually want to continue the game. There you are, Pepper. Hingiri told me of your pilgrimage. I knew it was only a matter of time before you sought me out. I too have been reflecting on the choices which shaped my path. When I took to the road with my grandfather, when I joined the Crystal Braves, when I tried and failed to warn you before the banquet, I had my suspicions about Wildred's death, that it was the work of a Gardalian spy within our ranks, but I could not be sure who was involved, hence my desire to speak with you in private. I thought long and hard about how to approach you without arousing suspicion. My hap too long. Eventually I decided to arrange a meeting through Mistress Momedy. Little did I know that bastard Laurent Laurentius had seen, me to had seen me do it. Shortly thereafter, the fourth received urgent summons. Needless to say, I had no choice but to answer, and soon found myself at the mercy of Captain Ilbert's band of traitors. They confined me to the Rising Stones, along with others still loyal to the Scions. Ryle, Oriol, Ephemy, Ergmus. Uh, whoa, that was fucking scary! Holy shit! Quite what they planned to do with us, I couldn't say. Mayhap they thought we would turn, given time, the fools. Lieutenant Yu Yu Hase bid the. Is it Yu Hase? Bid third keep us under constant guard. Constant? Constant guard. But when Captain Ilbert moved to carry out General Robon's execution, they were forced to withdraw all but a token force, which we took by surprise one night. And then it was over. Uh, one might argue that it turned up better than it had any right to, all things considered. Still, there are nights where I lie awake wondering if I had done things differently. If I had been more careful, more decisive, what then? But there is not to be gained from thinking thus. We must count our blessings, must we not? We are still here, and most of us, and most of what was broken can be rebuilt. You will see, Pepper. You will see. Okay, I'm gonna put my boy down for a little bit. I, that was kind of ominous. For the freedom of all, it had begun with an oath and ended with betrayal as conspirators um, turned on their comrades for coin and country. The good and true were beaten and imprisoned, or else butchered where they stood. But even their darkest moments, they never stopped believing that the dawn's light would shine again. Okay. Mm. Going back to Ishgard now. I'm going to the Sky Steel Manufactory. All right, we're going home, babes. Going back to Ishgard. All right, let's see what's going on here. It's gonna have something to do with um, like Sid. I'm assuming. Not like him per se, but like I think it's gonna have something to do with um, like um, God, what was it when they were like upgrading his like airship or whatever because of the whale stuff? Let's see. It's like I'm. That's like I'm assuming. All right, chat, you still with me? It's a cutscene. Why, hello there, Pepper. Fancy meeting you here. It's Wedge. Our boys. Reminiscing about the glory days, eh? Hi. We spent many a sleepless night hammering away in the corner of ours. How's your mana cutter holding up, by the way? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> ha! That's good to hear. Not that I had any doubts, like our craftsmanship second to none. Quite right. It will take more than swirling winds and raging dragons to bring her down. And that, my friend, is an ironworks guarantee. <laughs> They're so cute. Speaking of which, on the back of the field test success, we've gone ahead and licensed the design for mass production. Soon, the Skysail Manufactory will be churning out mana cutters by the dozen, which is why we're here today, as a matter of fact, to make sure their or machinists don't bugger anything up. Ooh, can just got all funky. 
Apparently, adventurers have been queuing up to place an order, and even some sky pirates. Ah, just imagine the sea of clouds teeming with our creations fills me with a, with, woo, with a father's pride. Right then, that's enough patting ourselves on the back. We've got to make sure the cutters are up to snuff, or Jesse will never let us hear the end of it. From now till we finish, there'll be no more breaks, distractions, and not one wink of sleep. You hear me? Gasp! Oh, chocobo. That's true, you can replay cutscenes, which I have done and cried many a time over. For screenshot reasons. <laughs> well, we'll leave you to it till next time, eh? Despite the many hardships they have endured, or perhaps because of them, they greeted every new challenge with a smile. Their workshop, their, their, workshop, their battlefield, their tools, their weapon, their invariable rose to the occasion, delivering ingenious solutions to seemingly insoluble problems. Is that what that said? I missed it. <laughs> okay, now we're in the turning mist. Where the fuck is that? Inter yeah, I was gonna say, is that in Javania? Is it here? No. Oh, it's all the way over there! No! Does anyone wanna Uber me? <laughs> Does anybody want to Uber me? I am going to have to get there basically on foot. Alright. Here I go. On my way. Bet. To my bed. I thought you were leaving, Red. You lied to me. I would, but I'm not in your data center. Well, that fucking sucks. Maybe you should be in my data center then. Maybe you should be here. Whose fault is that? Hmm? Come on, transfer over. By the time I DC travel, you'd probably get that. Yeah, probably. Probably. <laughs> it's not gonna take like too long to get there. I'm just fucking annoying, but why aren't I? <laughs> I'm trying to decide on whether or not to be a Hrothgar. Ooh. Well, I am biased and I think you should be a Mikote. Or a tall Ellison. I love the cat boys and I love the cat girls and the cat days. I just love the cat race so much. And Ellison men specifically too. Ross have the most wholesome community, do they? Why? <laughs> How come? As a Miko myself, I support the bias. Good. Miko superiority. I can ostensibly say that's not true, but like go off. That's really funny. Why isn't that true? What's up? What's the tea? What's the hot gossip? Oh wait, is it up here or down there? Okay, it's right here. Spooky, I love it. We're doing some reflection. Doing some thinking. Through tempestuous winds, tem tempestuous winds, they carved a path, reaching the dreadworm sanctum. And there did they put him to the sword. To, in the wake of hard fought victory, where secrets laid bare in a vision dark and disturbing. The legacy of the fathers bequeathed to their sons and passed on through the generations. Right. Old blood enduring in the new, the mark of original sin. Did I come all this way? I did all that for that <laughs> for that the tea is that the Hroth community is mostly wholesome but there are a lot of bad apples are there is that like a thing Why, why are they, what's so bad about them? Or like, what is the bad? Like, I don't, sorry, I'm like, I'm clueless. I, I don't know these things. All right, 
Waifu! Hilda! And there she is at last. Gibral- Gibralon? I don't even remember how to pronounce that. Gibralon? Gibralon? Said you were wandering all over, reminiscing about days gone by. Seems a bit soon if you ask- soon if you ask me. It's not like I don't understand, though. Sometimes I'll be walking through the broom, same as normal, and it'll hit me all of a sudden. Just how much has changed for us. Though I know it's a bit different from what you've been through. Puts me in mind of the first time I saw her and her friends up near the Aetherite, being shown around by that uh, house for Tomp Man. Being shown around by the house for Tomp Man? Do they mean my boy? Who showed me around? Was it my boy? It was, wasn't it? Or it was somebody else, or was it a guard? Was it my boy? I can't believe I don't remember. I'm really fucking disappointed. <laughs> Whatever. Aw, oh, Jin, thank you so much for gifting. Yes, the cute manservant. Thank you, Jin, for gifting Kelsey a sub. Oh my god, Kelsey, I'm gonna come on your bed watching this day. Oh my god, sorry. My eyes. <laughs> I'm just like making my makeup worse right now, but. Ah! Oh! Okay. There's flat out racism in the Roth community? Ooh, okay. Well, yeah, we don't gotta touch on that. Oh, you never told me you'd met before. It weren't so much a meeting as a heckling, to be honest. When I heard their guide warning them off paying a visit to the broom, it stuck in my craw. And you've got to admit that Master Alfie knows his fitting image of a snotty little lordling. You're right. You're not wrong. A little lordling that went on to fight two knights of the heavens Lord with Pepper here in a trial by combat. Not to mention- Yeah! Wait, he did! Not to mention helping retake the vault from the True Brothers. Fury have mercy. It feels like a bleed in lifetime ago, don't it? Because it was. We'll be got now's nothing like what came before. It's a bleed and rebirth is what it is. It's a realm reborn, if you will. Full comfort to the folk who died getting us here. Still, this piece is ours, and we owe it to ourselves to make the most of it. Meaning we've got to work twice as hard to make the broom a better place. And no more harassing blue bloods either. Yeah. Aye aye. Mm. A world apart from the opulence of the pillars, they that they had toiled, shrouded in the haze of the broom, sentenced to a life of hardship by birth. They dreamed of revolution as children dream of fairies. Then one came and went, and they suddenly found themselves with a seat at the table. I'm not gonna overthink that. I'm not I'm not gonna overthink it. I'm not gonna overthink that. Alright, where am I going? Oh, it's a good thing I can fucking fly here, finally! <laughs> oh my god. I picked up, um, the last ether current in this, uh, area, I believe. Today. I think it was today. So, we're chillin'. Oh, that's me. Ho. Oh. Clouds part and let shine brilliant sun upon Lanu Vanu. Great Netherling, warrior returns to, to Oak Zundu, and on pilgrimage of remembrance, well, well. Know that we will always be grateful to you for your victory over the ravenous white. <laughs> no longer need we fear of the safety for our smallest islands. But Lanu Vanu is not one to forget Netherling's first coming, when she saves us from certain death at the hands of the black ones. Ooh. Don't really like the phrasing here. Miss in memory though it is. Yes, her many deeds are the stuff of legends. We shall remember the stories and the hero's name, Peppermint, for they are worthy of celebration now and ever after. An earnest, good-natured people, they had borne witness to the rage of their beloved god's twisted manifestation and proclaimed it to be false. By the grace of kind travels were they duly delivered from its wrath, the mad god's death signaling, signaling the birth of a new hero. Yimitra. Oh, fun! Oh, that's fun. I get to go see Ishtola's sister. Two more sleeps. Yeah, till Hei Loon. Or Hai Lung. Oh, fuck. I don't even remember how to pronounce it. I'm excited for you! <laughs> I'm feeling snackish. Ooh, what you want to eat? I have a friend whose username is like Hei Loon, and so I get the names like fumbled all the time. Tai Lung! Don't kill me. Not Tai Lung. Ooh, 
Gridania is extra green today. It's all foggy. Cute. There was cosplay? I think I follow her on Twitter. No. That is... No. Hey, Loon is somebody else. Um, H-E-I-L-U-N-E. -E. She's an Overwatch player. <laughs> Well met, Pepper. What brings you here this day? Indeed, though it seems an age, it was not all that long ago that we rescued Stola, or Stola, from the live stream. How quickly we begin to forget even those memories most precious to us. In my defense, I might add that I have rarely missed an opportunity to make new memories with my sister in the days since her return. Our conversations are largely on matters of scientific and professional concern. Ancient Allegan technologies, primals, Asians, and so forth. She has an insatiable thirst for knowledge, as you know. Yet, while I understand her desire not to burden those around her with her troubles and to carry on as she did before, I do worry that her willingness to manipulate her own ether to compensate for the loss of her sight may have dire repercussions. What? The loss of her sight? She can't see? I thought she just, like, couldn't, like feel the ether anymore oh my god that explains like oh my god wait i called it because like i was like why do her eyes look foggy and like child was like yeah it's like cataracts Yeah, me too, Pepper! She never told you then? But of course not. Twould rather have defeated the purpose. You should know the technique she employs places a tremendous strain on her body. She is, of course, well aware of her limits. And more than willing to ignore them, she... She... To ignore them, should she deem it necessary. I pray you see that she does not. Regrettably, she is wont to ignore she is wont to ignore my advice when it does not suit her. Yet given your shared experiences, mayhap she'll be more willing to heed your warnings. Her sister was under no illusions as to the dangers of the life she had chosen. Should the worst come to the worst, Ishtola would do what needed to be done. Pay any price, make any sacrifice, and that without hesitation. She was a woman of conviction, deserving of respect and admiration, and no small amount of worry. I didn't know that. That's why I literally calls her out on it. Does she? I guess I didn't pick up on that. Guess I didn't pick up on that. Man. I recommend doing Matoya side quests to learn even more. Yeah, I'll do them eventually. Coming, isn't it? I just realized where I am. Pishka! Why must governing great Gobby <laughs> nation be so difficult? Like, hurt. Oh my god, okay, that reminds me. I was doing a, a hard dungeon earlier, and they had a weapon called the Gob Machine. Yo, if he don't call you the gob machine, you ain't doing your job, baby. Anyways, I don't even know how to pronounce this. Um, stupid curiorals, the, the fucking leopard ladies, men. Leopard, leopard ladies, men. The leopards, whatever. Uh, with muchly differ differing views on Glorious Nation's future direction. Calm down. It's okay. They're there. Yes, yes. Slowfix knows he's letting emotions run wild. Uplander is welcome, voice of reason. Not like when Uplanders first returned to Idleshire, yes? So much venom in that one's tongue flaps, calling Gobbyflock thieves. But Slowfix saw a way to mutual understanding. Citizenship in society, first step in strengthening communal ties, or communal ties, gives all vested interested interest in continued prosperity of egalitarian utopia. Huh? For the. Okay, 
For the final objective of this quest, you will receive no guidance from... <laughs> it just curl? Okay, thanks. For the final objective of this quest, you will receive no guidance from the journal or the duty list. You will need to read the text carefully and decipher the clues to determine your next course of action. Slowfix is a goblin beset by troubles, great and small. Okay. Pishka! And now Slowfix bids Uplander fulfill civic duty as citizen of Idleshire with hand lending of great import. In a cave south of settlement lives Old Crone, wielder of powerful magics used to crafty make frogmen that chase away curious gobbies. Uplander has made many busy deals with Old Crone, yes? An Uplander can appeal to Crone's better nature and make her call off frogmen uh, harriers. I love that he calls Matoya an Old Crone. Um, fuck. I can't fly here, can I? Yeah, Okay, so <laughs> I'm making my way downtown. Walking fast, face is past, and I'm worship on bound. All right, we're good. <laughs> we're chilling. Oh my god, I'm fucking choking. Yes, the gob machine. You heard that correctly. The boss is the gob machine, and honestly, kind of iconic. Kind of into it. Ah, <laughs> <sighs> all right. Um, chat, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm scared. I'm very scared. You know how emotional I am. You know how fucking, you know how emotional and sensitive I am. Is this going to be bad? Obviously, don't tell me. I don't want to actually know. But is this going to be bad? Like, I'm just speaking like, hypo like, not hypothetical, but like rhetorical here. The boss is the god machine. There's a little something going on there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I can't even, like, make jokes anymore. I'm just, like, nervous now at this point. Um, okay, chat. Who in here has not played Final Fantasy XIV? Let's talk. Let's keep me distracted. And who here wants to play Final Fantasy XIV? I know there is a lot of you who have started because of me or have picked the game back up because of me, which is, like, really fucking neat. And I'm hoping we can all play together. Like, hop on my data center. Maybe come to Crystal Goblin. Let's, you know, whoo. And play it. Tell me about it. Um, this game is sad, Jin. <laughs> this game is very sad. I swear to God. I, s I hope no one is chilling at the, at his, um, his, uh, grave. Because if there are people, I will cry on sight. I will cry on sight if there are people waiting there for me. Y'all better not fucking be there. Y'all better not do that shit that y'all fucking do. No. I will not have it. I just want peace and quiet and serenity. <laughs> Seems complex as hell. Final Fantasy XIV? No. Not at all. This game is as, okay. This game is so beginner friendly. It is so user friendly that... Even the parts that are a little bit difficult are very, very easy to get accustomed to. And the community is also very kind for the most part. Um, so you will always be able to have a nice helping hand. And if you are ever lost or stuck, someone will be there to help you, which is what I love about this game. I never feel alone. I never feel lost. I never feel confused. <laughs> it's just like it's a breeze. I love it. I love this game. It's my it's my comfort game now. Ironically, it is also the game that tears me apart, so I don't know if that's really a good thing or not, but <laughs> Um, all right, where is she? There she is. <sighs> well, this is a pleasant surprise. I'm well aware that you're only here because you want something, but at least you didn't bring your little friends. So, out with it. Yes, come on, I Herbert Herbert who? Oh, is that what the goblins told you? That my servants were attacking their poor, defenseless scouts without the slightest provocation? Ha! The little buggers were trying to eat them. They're lucky I didn't have my uh, pierogos return the favor. But you can tell them from me that if they try it again, I will personally feed them to my servants one limb at a time. I do hope you didn't come all this way just to play errand girl for those dirty little scroungers. 
No, I'm here to... to remember. <sighs> to bear my burdens, if you will. Aren't you a bit young to be going on grand journeys of reflection? You haven't lived long enough to do so to have so many regrets. The same goes for that boy, complaining that things haven't hadn't unfolded as he dreamed they would. Oh, Elf, you know? It makes no difference what should have happened to Minfilia. What matters is what did happen. The past is the past, and no amount of wishing you'd done thing you'd done things differently will make it so. Oh, wishing you'd done things differently will make it so. You make your choices, and you do what needs to be done. That's it. That's the attitude you came here with the first time, when you wanted to find a way to get Aziz Law, and you would do well to remember it. Right then. I think you've wasted quite enough of my time. It's bad enough that I have to suffer Stola's unannounced visits. I don't need you making a habit of it too. I fucking love her. She is spunky. She was the sum of everything that had come before. Triumphs, failures, all essential, all indispensable. Had things unfolded differently, so too was she. What you send to mourn the woman who never was. There's only this time, this place, this choice. I don't know if I should go see Ishtola or if the phrase mourn meant to go to the gravesite. But it's too soon for me to go there. Should I go? I don't know where Ishtola even is. Isn't she in the Rising Sands? Or the the Waking Sands or the Rise? She's fucking somewhere. I don't know. Um, let me reread it. She was the sum of everything that had come before. She was the sum of everything that had come before. Trans failures, all essential, all indispensable. Had things unfold differently, so too would she. What you sent to mourn the woman who never was? There's only this time, this place is choice. Oh, I do! I do still have visit Helix and Azis Law. You're right! Ugh, freaking out over nothing. I'm good! We're a game! We ballin'! Let's go! Okay. We ball. Weeball. Thank you, game, because I didn't fucking get that. <laughs> Unless they just meant, like, Matoya and, like, whatnot. I was like, what the? Oh, God. I fucking hate this place, by the way. I hate it. I hate the, like, whatever direction they went for, like, with this place. Don't like it. I mean, okay, that's just me personally. I don't, I don't like techie things, I guess. Like, it's just not me. I like sci-fi, but not... Not when the tech is like this. You know? For someone trying to learn Valorant right now, that's a welcoming surprise. Oh, that the community for FF is nice? Yeah. Shooters are very different. It's because it's incredibly competitive. I'm sure the PvP um, scene in this game is also not that nice, but yeah. Yeah, I don't miss shooter communities. I don't miss, like, the Overwatch community. For that reason alone. I mean, I, I love being a part of the community, but I don't miss being, like, deep in it. Because there is a lot of toxicity that came from playing that game and being a woman playing that game that I just, like, do not miss. You spy something on the ground, the landing's edge. Okay. Okay, I was literally I was just going to ask if this is going to be something to do with Isail. Oh my god, it probably Is it? Okay, a fresh Nemea, Nemea lilies, Nemea lilies lies at your feet, feet in offering for the departed. Oh, is there a cold breeze? A thousand thousand fires blossomed around her as she fell towards the battleship. A crimson star shower amidst the impassive cloud, clowns, clouds. Huh. <sighs>
Then came the azure light, faint at first, soon blinding, then shattering, casting motes of diamond to the four winds. Oh my god! Oh my god, yeah, it was Astinian. Oh my god. During the cutscene, when you see him, like, walking away with that same fucking bouquet, y'all made me think that he was gonna go leave that at Orshifon's grave. He fucking came here! The ship that never got to sail. It's a good thing him and Emric are gay as hell because goddamn! Man! Alright, I'm good. I'm fine. Visit Tiamat? Tiamat? Who is that? Is that a fucking dragon? I don't... It is! It's Midgar Sormer's uh, daughter, right? Or some shit like that? Like, she was like the really big one, right? Oh, I could fly here, thank fucking god. Can I TP? No, I have to like just fly. Oh my god, okay. The most toxic thing I've seen in Final Fantasy 14 PvP is passive aggressive use of the good match command. That's very funny. Okay, that's fair. <laughs> There's a short story on the website about him coming here. Oh, is there? Do you want to link that in the Final Fantasy ch uh, channel in my server? You know, sex them I've seen just being on a competitive team with women is gross. Yeah. It's not fun. It's not cute. Don't like it. <laughs> like, I don't know. I can't even, like, be flowery about it. Like, yeah, I mean, I guess. And it's like, yeah, not everybody is toxic. And, you know, you sh like, there are a lot of good eggs in these communities. But when you are constantly faced with the negative aspects of it, it's hard to want to stick around. You know? Because it counts as griefing? Ooh. Really? Uh, the good match thing? I guess that's fair. But, like, you shouldn't report that. Like, who fucking... I've had worse people. I've had a, I've had a few toxic-ass people in some of my dungeons. And it's like, whatever. <laughs> I'm never gonna see you again. It's not like Overwatch where it's like the consistent, like a consistent amount of people that you will regularly get. I mean, actually, I don't know if it's the same for the PvP in this game. So who the fuck is that? Okay. <laughs> All right. Oh. What the fuck is that? What? I love this game. <laughs> I love this game. Child of man, chosen of Hydaelyn, not remaineth for thee here save the delusions of the condemned. In my madness did I spy my departed brood brother in yonder skies, though I know it cannot be so. God, so she's still stuck here. I hope at some point she's set free. Like, I don't remember, like, this whole ordeal too much, but man. What sayeth thou? My senses are yet my own? Then he whom I saw was but my dead brother's rancor clad in mortal flesh? Yeah. And thou didst deliver him unto death's cold embrace. I bear thee no ill will, child. Tis beyond me. All my hatreds are bound up in moments ephemeral, ephemeral and eternal. My beloved's passing and his resurrection. I am no better than Nidhogg. Consumed by love, twisted by rage, I too sought vengeance without end. Hey, it's my child. <laughs> Yet thou hast since renounced it. Hast thou not? Through millennia have I watched as time did that which I could not. As men of Alag, 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 perish and their works fell to ruin, leaving me to think on mine own sins and solitude. What folly to despise man his base desires, when hatred's hand so effortlessly drove me to, to take Asian reed? I don't even remember what the first one was, Jay. <laughs> um, then look thou on him again with eyes unclouded, and mark how he laboreth to rise above his nature, how he and Horace Vilgar's brood now raise their voices in a shared song of peace. Tis my dearest hope that it shall prove the founding stone for a, a bulwark against the dark. As time delivered a log unto its reward, unto its reward, so too will it prove this peace true or fleeting. As I remain here apart and watch. Chosen of Hydaelyn, it is well that thou camest unto me in contemplation. 
But the road stretches ever on, and thy battle is not yet won. Yeah, I got a few more expansions to go, so you're probably right. <laughs> Perhaps there was hope for them. Perhaps this time they would learn and remember. But her part in the tale had ended long ago. Within this monument to hubris would she remain until the end of days, beyond redemption. Oh, beyond redemption. Mm. Visit the um, ether or chemical research facility. Man! More flying. Alright, here we go. Bye, babes! Good night, Viking! So, yeah, is she just like. <laughs> is she just stuck here forever? Is that her fate? Man. Sad. I guess that's the burden she bears. <laughs> uh. Alright, so is this gonna be up here? Question mark? Am I going on the ship? Or the ship, or whatever the fuck this was. I have to go higher and higher, it's saying. Higher and higher and higher and higher and higher and higher, though I could very well be wrong. No, it seems like I'm correct. Yes, right here. Okay, and Wedge is here too. I know this is for another quest, but I will quickly like pick it up, I guess. Yeah, okay. Uh, Wedge is there, actually! You're not staring at nothing. <laughs> Oh, I remember the intensity of this. Holy shit. The undying ones were defiant, disbelieving, even as death embraced them. And the knights too uh, succumbed. It succumbed, right? I always say, like, succumb. But saying it, it just sounds weird. Little to the last to a cause long lost. His body growing light, the archbishop looked upon the arbiter of his fate and knew not what he saw. And then it was over. Not remain save the eyes, thinking to bear them away from the covetous hands of men. Asinian took the accursed baubles in his own hand, baubles, and was duly bent to their will, if only for a time. At a friend's behest had they embarked upon their journey, and so, after their triumphant homecoming and all the pomp and circumstance, there was but one way it could end. Paris. Is that what I think it is? Mm. I gotta go pay respects to a friend. Wonder who that is. Um. Okay. I actually haven't visited the grave in like about a week, so this is fun. <laughs> It sounds really weird saying that, but it's true. <laughs> it's, 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 I, it, <laughs> it's really weird saying that I haven't visit, visited, visited, whatever, uh, and like a fictional grave in a while, but I mean, it is what it is. <laughs> I guess. Is that what they want me to do? Pay respects to a friend? I feel like that's gotta be it, right? Oh, thank god I'm alone. Thank god. Oh, please don't make me cry. I don't want to cry. Okay. Oh, fuck off, Francel. <laughs> Hello again, old friend. Ugh. The fuck is showing up on their motherfucking. Doesn't get any easier, does it? No, it does not, Francel. It fucking does not get easier. Shut up. I literally took these screen caps. <laughs> I literally took. Okay, sorry. <laughs> and it was not in the same outfit, though, so we ball. Oh, no. 
I'm not okay, 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 I'm fine, I'm okay, I'm fine, I'm okay. Hey, she do the pose. Is that it? Please tell me that's it. Okay, that wasn't that bad. That was okay, that was fine. You've learned the info of Off, Jay. <laughs> My boy. My boy. Actually, the worst. <laughs> I once again do it. That's just the Final Fantasy experience. I can't escape it. I can't escape it. I got a beautiful tear just like trip, like trickling down my face. My boy. Oh my boy. Wait, so like, is it over now? Like, have we just forgotten about him now? Well, I guess technically we haven't, because I just did the, um, the A Realm Reborn, like, seasonal quest and got the, like, the never forget to smile thing or whatever, so I guess not, but... <laughs> Streamer goals have a community that will show up to punch you in the heart. <laughs> I don't think those are actually goals. No, he's forever with you in the form of a moat and in the form of a minion. And he's my little minion too. I don't know what to do now, chat. I don't think I have it in me to continue streaming tonight. I think I need to go sleep. It's just like after I finished the Dark Knight quest, like I had to just go. I have therapy um, in a couple days. So don't think I don't have my, my, um, my, uh, summary or I guess like review on, <laughs> on the Dark Knight quest line. <laughs> Ready for her. Uh, I have that on my favorite pen. It lives on my winter beanie. That's very cute. That's very cute. That's very cute. I've wanted to get like more weapons tattooed on me because I have Bianca from Dragon Age on me, um, like Varric's crossbow, because like Varric always has your back, like he's the best friend character, right? And so it's like, even if I don't have my own back, I know Varric does, and like I should have gotten it tattooed on my back, but I have other plans for that. But, like Varric's by my side, you know what I mean? He's, he's always there. Um, so what if I got that shield? What if I got that shield? No, I can't do it. But I want to. But I shouldn't. But I want to. But I shouldn't. But I really want to. I was thinking about getting like the Dark Knight uh, sigil or like soul crystal rather, like on the back of my neck or something. Or even just a unicorn? No. You really think I'm gonna rock that? No. It's gonna have to match. It has to match this. So it would have to, it can't like be right there. It would probably have to be like over here or like on my like, like 
here. I'd probably get, like, the shield. Maybe broken, or maybe, like, terribly patched up. You know, like, with tape. And then, like, flowers around it. And maybe, like, a cup of hot cocoa somewhere else or something. <sighs> with the band-aid. <laughs> with the band-aid, yeah. I'm so sad. I don't know what to do now. chat I think I should go to bed <laughs> uh, it's also 120 so I definitely should go to bed uh, it was a great stream was it but would you get the full shield of the crack one I was just talking about that I don't know which one I would get if I had a boss to get the emotions out no Unless I could redo the boss where I, um... Hey, hold on. <laughs> Unless I could redo that last fight against Mist where, um... Where I can fuck up Zephyrin again. Oh, I guess technically I could fight Zephyrin again, I guess. I don't know if it's, like, available to do, but... <laughs> fight an IRL boss? Yeah. That'd be a good idea. Um, but yeah. Thanks, y'all, for... Coming. <laughs> here. Um... I had a good stream, even though I am an absolute mess. It was really good. I'm glad I was able to get the seasonal event out of the way and this one out of the way. And it does suck that both of them hit me in the gut. <laughs> hit me. Oh my god. I left for like five minutes. Are we crying? We are crying, Quinn. We are crying. I'm baby. Um... We just paid respects to, um, I guess it's not really a spoiler at this point if you've been watching, but we just paid respects to one of the characters who, um, sacrificed themselves to save us, and I loved them, and I was simping for them for months, and no one told me shit. Not a single person. No one on Twitter, no one on Twitch, no one on Discord, nobody told me that he would die. Thankfully, <laughs> but I have not recovered. <laughs> I have never recovered, and I don't know if I ever will. As someone that's only level plus, uh, level 40 plus right now, I'm so just of your outfits. Thank you. I actually have this outfit since before I was level 40. <laughs> Go to the market board. You can buy some cute stuff. Um, always enjoyed getting to watch you play. Thank you, Jay. I appreciate that. That's the nicest thing you said to me in a while. <laughs> All right, chat. Thank you for hanging out with me while I went through this. I promise that, sorry, I promise we will get back to um, the main story at some point. Uh, if not tomorrow, then on. Uh, if not tomorrow, then maybe at another time. I will be available for the next week and a half. So I got all the time in the world for us to dive in. And I'm very, 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 very excited. Um, but yeah, that's all. We're going to go raid Ahad. Uh, like I was saying when he was in here, he's one of my comfort streamers now. Because I just the thing about his energy that I just simply love. And he's live. He's grinding out Valorant as per usual because that's all he fucking does. Um, but yeah, don't forget to join my Discord server and follow me on social media. That we can stay up to date with all of my shenanigans. I will see you all in my next stream. And feel free to spam whatever emote your heart desires. You can do a command rate in chat and that shit will pop up. Bye. Oh, for fuck's sake! For God fucking damn it! I forgot that was my stream ending fucking scene. I forgot. I, I made the same mistake last time too. I fucking forgot. I played myself! I fucking played myself! I'm gonna, you know what? Look, the stream isn't starting, it's ending, but we're gonna, I'm gonna put this shit over here because that's what I deserve! I don't deserve! Oh, mama, alright.
Good night, chat. <laughs> Fuck. Thank you.